Hi guys, let me share um, a video with you guys, which is gonna become a news video. And that's the fact that there are two ways to install and I've just made a nice, maybe we should start with that, just made a nice communication with you guys with a picture way to proceed, right? If advanced has errors, choose easy installation. So this is our Arc Linux welcome app. And we wanted to do good and give you lots of installation, lots of choices and people love that. But we've seen lately, the last months, there's always something. It's keys or packages. And I'll show you um, in the virtual box that I've made, right? And I'm preparing you in this video that if you want to be able to install 100% sure, and I was <laughs> laughing eh, with a joke, I say easy installation is the beach installation, right? It's on the beach, no internet, no LAN cable, you just install, it's gonna work. In the other one, the advanced installation, the internet is open. All the packages and all the updates come in. Servers go down, wirelesses go down, LAN port, you just jerked it out. Okay, right? Lots of things can go wrong. Also the technical stuff, 90% of your system is not from us. It's Arch Linux. We have zero control what comes from Arch Linux. Keys that are missing, replacement of package X to, uh, to Y, etc. That's why I just wanted to let you already know that we're really considering of getting rid of this advanced installation. That means that you don't have the choice to select kernels and drivers and desktops and all that. And, and all the applications that uh, are behind it. But that we need to provide something else. So this application is been in the pipeline and you all to, to holidays and, and diseases, right? Corona and all that. It um, is not yet finished. But the message here is for now, guys, stop using advanced installation, use easy installation or less drastically, if advanced has errors, choose easy installation. Because here you're, you depend on, on all kinds of things, your router, your internet, the packages, the keys, changes. It's a lot of things that can go wrong in this particular thing. Now think about it. The big guys, Ubuntu and all these guys, what do they give? your name, change your name, choose this, choose that. They don't give you the net install, the possibility to change kernels and to do this and do that because, right, they have probably already the experience. Say, so, okay, mm, right? It, so many things can go wrong and people get frustrated. And one of the things, one of the major rules of Article Linux is no frustration, no frustration software, no frustration at all, period. And this gives frustration for us because you come back to us, hey, it doesn't work. We know why it doesn't work and we can't do a lot about it, all right? So easy installation. Let's go to the virtual box. What happened in my virtual box? And that's this one. I started with, right? If, if you go to 05 May, no issue. But in four and five, in between those two ISOs, there was a switch and we've all seen it. The question, do you want to change no GS by no GS LTS Gallium, I think it's name, right? And everything breaks. If Pacman can't do the job, this is what you get. Could not update the system and so on. Yes. And then everything stops. So if you see this installation failed, then you know already, oh, I should go to easy. You go to the easy installation. It's behind here, right? It's here. That's the one I always choose. I know why I choose it, because I don't want frustration. And I run the get nemesis, the Arclinix nemesis scripts. I run it like that and have everything. So if we wanna look, I think it's IIJF, something like that. Let's see. 
term bin is it term bin.com and if it's now it can be now this but next time it will be something else right it's just it's gonna repeat itself but then something else i i j f i i j f okay so you scroll down all the way down and then here you see notes eh, removing node.js from target list because it conflicts with node.js lts gallium and that's the thing that's that's why it's broken not these guys articlinks better lock screen because we say yes yes and yes but this guy doesn't say yes capital it says no capital which means it's not going to be replaced and you get an unresolvable package conflict and so on so it, this can happen with any of the package builds that Archlinx creates and like i said 90 percent of the packages i mean that is roughly around 900 packages that we have zero control over i hope you get the message i hope you understand this cause we're really considering right of getting rid of these advanced options so there's just the button easy install and let that job do it because here this is the standard windows well well, well i mean uh, settings that you get on any of the linux systems right where do you live what's your uh, keyboard where are you belgian and yeah now we have less because we rebooted right but that is basically what you want to have that is um, one way installation without hassle without frustration it's just work what i call on the beach installation I don't have to think really because advanced is a lot of thinking do i need this do i need that what driver here what driver it makes it thing things complex and as a result if you don't know what you're selecting it might not boot right so getting things started installing and then it's up to you then it's up to you to say okay sudo pacman minus s linux dash lts you've got it five minutes later right after reboot so just wanted to go through the motions this is the normal look welcome where do you live what's the keyboard what partition who are you summary and it's done this will always work this can be offline it's no problem it's less choice it's less complexity and basically this is the choice i always make but who am i right but i observed now for five months thinking all the time should we keep advanced or not and now with this thing there were other things in the past i think we're at a decision or anyway a pivot a moment in time where we need to decide will we continue with advanced and, and frustrate people or not right so i'll read i'll read what you have to say on the matter on uh, the video so the video goes on youtube and you can answer and, and uh, say or say i mean the thing is what i haven't said yet is all these selections that we have in advanced it's a file basically of, of several files and we're going to use all these applications and all these files to put them in an application of our own so it's under development like i said i did say it right um it's not finished at all but um i don't even know if it will boot up so i'll just leave it as it is because we need to yeah maybe this is the time to change priority priorities right and let article links well arch link tweet tool and arch links logout wait a little bit and maybe have a look at our yeah we can tell the name what did we call it because hey <laughs> maybe we should call it also in the sense we'll see um Articlinx application installer or something i think we've called it but everything is now not organized alphabetically like this okay like this so arch linux where are you 
Arch Linux, I mean, application installer. I think it's put it somewhere else. It's not yet officially. Oh, here it is. Arch Linux app application installer. I'm not sure if it actually will start up, but let's try. So you see what I mean. And maybe then your response will be a little different. And you say, oh, if we're getting that, right, then, okay, then we don't select anything inside, uh, voila, application installer. Like you see, a lot of things to do still. GTK critical. Ah, yeah, there we go. And that we get something like this, right? So it is based on our Calamari selection, accessibility stuff, accessories, and you select whatever you want to install and it knows what I have. So we, it takes a while because it looks at everything you've got and you can uninstall it or install it, right? Audio is here. We still need to do a lot of things, but as you see, all the choices are here, but Atom shouldn't be there, right? <laughs> file manager, how are here, fonts, and so on. So as well as tabs, here they are. So some tabs. We need to get a lot of software in one place. Right? So we're working on that concept of um, the application, how to get later on if we don't give the easy installation. That was always the idea. Let's develop an application. If we scratch advanced installation, we should give something else, right? And something like this, and it still needs a lot of work, but it's um, it's a mock-up. I mean, it's, it's good. It, you can see what we are aiming to do here with a tool in the end, decide what to have because Sometimes you really don't know the names, right? And say, what applications are there for development? And have a look. All right, so we kind of want to have some feedback on the matter. The video goes online. Um, so advanced installation in Calamaris is out. That's the idea. Easy installation is always working. It's stable as hell. Why? It's just an image that unpacks. There is no updates coming in. There's no, no internet needed. There is no key issues. Why? Because it's it's not, it's isolated. It's just a dump of an operating system on an hard disk. What can go wrong, right? So the advanced installation out and the installation for the, to install the applications in. That's what we would like that's the idea that we have to go forward and we'd like to hear your response all right cheers